Shocker is 2024. Tensions between Israel and Hezbollah have once again escalated into open conflict, creating a volatile and dangerous situation. This time, however, the battlefield extends far beyond the physical realm, encompassing the digital and cyber domains. A new player has emerged, wielding the power of data and algorithms, Palantir Technologies, a company at the forefront of data analytics. This American software company specializes in data analysis, providing cutting-edge solutions to complex problems. Its platforms are now being used by militaries around the world to gain a strategic edge in various operations. Imagine a situation room where commanders can see the entire battlefield in real time, making informed decisions swiftly. They can access information from satellites, drones, and even social media, creating a comprehensive intelligence picture. This is the promise of Palantir's technology, a game-changer in modern warfare. By integrating vast amounts of data, it provides a comprehensive understanding of the enemy's movements, capabilities, and intentions, allowing for precise countermeasures. In this hypothetical conflict, Palantir software is being used by the Israel Defense Forces or IDF to anticipate Hezbollah's actions and counter them effectively, staying one step ahead. From disrupting communication networks to pinpointing the locations of hidden tunnels, Palantir's technology is proving invaluable. Palantir's data analysis capabilities are transforming the nature of warfare, making it more data-driven and precise. 2024, the IDF launches a preemptive strike against Hezbollah's communication infrastructure. This is not a traditional bombing raid, however. This is a targeted operation made possible by Palantir's data analysis capabilities. For months, Israeli intelligence agencies have been collecting data on Hezbollah's communication networks. This includes everything from intercepted phone calls and emails to the locations of cell towers and internet service providers. All of this information has been fed into Palantir's software, which has created a detailed map of Hezbollah's communication network. Using this map, the IDF identifies key nodes in Hezbollah's network. These nodes are targeted with a combination of cyber attacks and electronic jamming techniques. The IDF employs a multi-pronged approach to gather intelligence on Hezbollah's communication network. This sophisticated system is designed to ensure that no piece of information, no matter how small, goes unnoticed. Signals intelligence units work tirelessly, intercepting radio waves, capturing satellite transmissions, and tapping into fiber optic cables. These units are the first line of defense, constantly scanning the airwaves and digital channels for any signs of activity. Drones equipped with advanced sensors provide a constant stream of data from the skies above southern Lebanon. These unmanned aerial vehicles can cover vast areas, capturing high-resolution images and real-time video feeds, which are then analyzed for any suspicious movements or gatherings. Human intelligence also plays a crucial role, with informants on the ground providing valuable insights into Hezbollah's activities. These brave individuals risk their lives to gather information, meeting undercover and passing on critical details that can make all the difference. This raw data, a jumble of numbers, codes, and fragmented messages, is then fed into Palantir. The process of inputting this data is meticulous, ensuring that every piece of information is accurately recorded and ready for analysis. Think of Palantir as a giant digital brain, capable of processing vast amounts of information and finding connections that would be impossible for humans to detect. It sifts through the data, identifying patterns and correlations that can reveal hidden threats or opportunities. It's here that the real magic begins. Analysts use this powerful tool to piece together the puzzle, turning raw data into actionable intelligence. This intelligence is then used to inform strategic decisions, ensuring that the IDF stays one step ahead of any potential threats. Excels at a process called network analysis. Each piece of intercepted communication, each phone call, each email represents a node in Hezbollah's network. By analyzing the time, location, and frequency of these communications, Palantir can begin to connect the dots. It can identify patterns, revealing who is talking to whom, how often, and for how long. This information allows the IDF to map Hezbollah's entire communication infrastructure. They can see the hierarchy, from the low-level operatives in the field to the commanders calling the shots. They can identify key hubs, critical points of communication that, if disrupted, could cripple Hezbollah's ability to operate effectively. Gathering data is only half the battle. To truly understand Hezbollah's plans and intentions, the IDF needs to decipher their encrypted communications. This is where Palantir's advanced algorithms come into play. The software can analyze encrypted messages, looking for patterns and anomalies that might reveal the encryption key. Once the code is broken, the IDF gains access to a treasure trove of information. They can read Hezbollah's internal communications, listen to their phone calls, and understand their plans in real time. 
This gives them an unprecedented level of insight into Hezbollah's operations, allowing them to anticipate their moves and counter their threats. Hezbollah's nerve centers. With Palantir's help, the IDF can identify the most critical points in Hezbollah's communication network. These might be server hubs, command centers, or key individuals responsible for relaying information. Armed with this knowledge, the IDF can launch targeted strikes to disrupt Hezbollah's operations. These strikes might involve cyber attacks, jamming signals, or even physical destruction of key infrastructure. By crippling Hezbollah's ability to communicate, the IDF can sow confusion, disrupt their chain of command, and prevent them from carrying out attacks. One of the most significant advantages Palantir offers is real-time intelligence. As soon as the IDF intercepts a communication, Palantir can analyze it, identify its significance, and alert commanders on the ground. This allows the IDF to react to threats with unprecedented speed and precision. In the past, it might have taken days or even weeks to analyze intelligence and plan a response. With Palantir, the IDF can act in minutes, gaining a crucial advantage in the ever-evolving battlefield. ...reaching a boiling point. The IDF receives critical intelligence that key Hezbollah leaders are meeting in a residential building in Beirut, a densely populated urban area. A traditional airstrike would risk significant civilian casualties, making it a highly dangerous option. Palantir's advanced technology offers a different, more precise approach. By analyzing data from a variety of sources, including satellite imagery, signals intelligence, and even social media posts, Palantir's sophisticated software is able to pinpoint the exact location of the meeting with remarkable accuracy. It also provides a detailed analysis of the building structure and the surrounding environment, offering crucial insights. This comprehensive information allows the IDF to plan a surgical strike that minimizes collateral damage and avoids unnecessary loss of life. A small, highly trained team of special forces is inserted into Beirut under the cover of darkness, moving with stealth and precision. They use precision-guided munitions to target the specific room where the Hezbollah leaders are meeting, significantly minimizing risk to civilians. The success of this operation depends heavily on the accuracy and timeliness of the intelligence provided by Palantir's technology. In the past, such precision strikes would have been nearly impossible without risking significant civilian casualties. With Palantir's cutting-edge technology, however, the IDF is able to strike at the heart of Hezbollah's leadership while minimizing the impact on innocent lives, showcasing a new era of military precision. Since November 2023, Israel has been engaged in a covert operation to neutralize Hezbollah's vast network of underground tunnels and weapons caches. This operation is part of a broader strategy to ensure the safety and security of its borders and citizens. This operation relies heavily on Palantir's ability to analyze vast amounts of data from various sources, including seismic sensors, ground-penetrating radar, and even satellite imagery. The integration of these technologies allows for a comprehensive approach to identifying and neutralizing threats. Hezbollah has long used tunnels to their advantage, moving troops and equipment undetected and launching surprise attacks. These tunnels are often sophisticated, with multiple entry and exit points, making them difficult to detect and destroy. Palantir software helps to level the playing field. By providing real-time data analysis and actionable intelligence, it enables the Israeli Defense Forces to make informed decisions quickly. By analyzing data from seismic sensors, for example, Palantir can detect the subtle vibrations caused by digging. This capability is crucial in identifying new tunnel construction before it becomes operational. This information combined with satellite imagery analysis allows the IDF to pinpoint the location of suspected tunnel entrances. High-resolution images from satellites provide a bird's-eye view, making it easier to spot anomalies on the ground. Once a tunnel is located, the IDF can then deploy ground-penetrating radar and other technologies to map its layout and identify any weapons caches or other points of interest. This detailed mapping is essential for planning precise and effective operations. This information is then used to plan targeted operations to collapse the tunnels, or in some cases, to turn them against Hezbollah by using them as infiltration routes for Israeli special forces. These operations are meticulously planned to minimize risks and maximize impact. The effectiveness of this approach is evident in the increasing number of tunnels and weapons caches that Israel has been able to neutralize. Each successful operation not only disrupts Hezbollah's activities, but also sends a strong message about Israel's capabilities. Palantir's technology is not a silver bullet, but it is proving to be an invaluable tool in the fight against Hezbollah's underground infrastructure. The combination of advanced technology and strategic planning is making a significant difference in this ongoing conflict. Palantir's impact on the battlefield. Palantir represents a paradigm shift in modern warfare. It gives militaries like the IDF an unprecedented ability to collect, analyze, and act on intelligence. This has significant implications for the future of conflict, blurring the lines between conventional warfare and cyber warfare. 
With Palantir, the battlefield becomes a digital chessboard, where victory hinges on the ability to outmaneuver the enemy in cyberspace. The implications of this technology extend far beyond the battlefields of the Middle East. The use of powerful technology like Palantir raises important ethical questions. The ability to collect and analyze vast amounts of data, including personal communications, raises concerns about privacy and civil liberties. The potential for collateral damage in cyber attacks is another concern. Disrupting communication networks can have unintended consequences, affecting civilians and critical infrastructure. As we enter this new era of warfare, it's crucial to establish clear ethical guidelines for the use of such powerful tools. Palantir's impact on the IDF's operations against Hezbollah is just a glimpse into the future of warfare. This collaboration showcases how data analytics and real-time intelligence can revolutionize military strategies and outcomes. As technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more sophisticated tools for intelligence gathering, analysis, and targeting. Advanced surveillance equipment, high-tech drones, and AI-driven analytics are just the beginning of this new era. The battlefield of the future will be increasingly digital, with victory hinging on the ability to master the complexities of cyberspace. Cyber warfare, virtual reality training, and augmented reality applications will become standard in military operations. However, this technological advancement comes with a heavy responsibility. The integration of such powerful tools necessitates a thorough understanding of their potential consequences. It is imperative that we grapple with the ethical implications of these powerful tools and ensure they are used responsibly and ethically. Discussions on military ethics and the responsible use of technology are more crucial than ever. The future of warfare is being written in code, and it is up to us to ensure that it is a future we can all live with. Developers and military strategists must work hand in hand to create technologies that not only enhance capabilities, but also adhere to ethical standards.